They say men only want one thing, and they was right. And what is that? Big green candles, baby, when you want a call option. Shout out to the whole family. We knocking it out of the park. We had jumped into Apple 190 calls. Now, if you don't understand what that is, basically, we got into some contracts that was saying that Apple was going to go up in the near future. And when you look at the candlesticks, we absolutely killing it and knocking it out of the park. Now, I want to say this to everybody. Do not let fear hold you back from your potential. Do not let fear hold you back from who you can be and who you will be when you're willing to pull in the work. We are in these call options that expire on August 16th. And already on May 2nd, Apple has jumped up from about $170 to over $180 in a single day because of some various factors. Now, I want to take a break and tell everybody, this is your time. This is your year. Stop holding back from yourself. Invest into your own wealth so you can eat too. And I want to give a shout out to everybody who jumped into the other options that we got into, which was the spy call options. And I walked everybody through. I held your hand, teach you how to do it, teach you where to put your stop losses. And we up 25% on that. That's different from the Apple Play. And we got into an AMD one as well that went up at highs to 15%. And that one came back down and kicked me out in slight profit. So today we are three for three. And remember, we're going to keep going, keeping the losses small, and keep knocking it out of the park with the wins. I want to give a shout out to Robin Hood over on the Discord, a.k.a. KGU, who told me that they up 27% on a play. Again, you don't need big money to be able to win. If you get big money, then you could exponentially grow your wealth, but you don't have to start there. And I said this in a previous video and in front of everybody at the NASDAQ. You do not have to be great to start, but you do have to start to be great. So what I want you to do is just get into the game, family, so you can knock it out of the park and at least enjoy some of the fruits of your labor. Enjoy some of the fruits of this wealth building and generational tool. And I'm going to just say it right now, family. If you ain't a part of KGU, you're doing yourself a disservice and you are leaving money on the table. That's just how I see it. We is killing it over there. And when we lose, we keep the losses crazy small. So major shout out to the family. The link for that is going to be at the top of the description. I'm looking forward to seeing you over there. Stop doubting yourself. Invest into your wealth and invest into yourself. Let's talk about what's going on with Apple. The first thing that happened was Wall Street underestimated how they were going to get busy. Wall Street said that they were going to make $90 billion or $90.45 billion but they actually beat that by over $300 million. So we love to see Apple crush it. When they tell you that Apple iPhone sales is down, when they tell you that all these other things, this is what Wall Street tells you, right? They're trying to get into your head so that you can miss out on the fruits of investing. But we don't have to have that anymore, especially when you have somebody in your corner, and I'm trying to be that person for you, somebody in your corner who is telling you, stop listening to all of the nonsense. Trade with the chart, not with your heart. Pay attention to the news. Pay attention to the forward guidance. You could kill it too. It's not just for people who are rich. It's for everyday people just like me and you who want to make a difference, who want to say, I've been in this nine to five for how many years and I feel like it's not taking me where I want to go. Well, it's time for you to take yourself where you want to go by learning the market. Let's look at what else happened with Apple. So the first thing is they beat the estimates that Wall Street have for them. Now, you might not even have been aware of the estimates that Wall Street even has. So how are you going to take advantage of it, right? Well, again, like I said, you got to make sure that you up on game and at a minimum paying attention to certain apps that might tell you, right? Like I told you to download Moomoo or get on KGU, any, anything that you do like that, even if you want YouTube doing it for free or on Google, just pay attention to this stuff. If you don't have a place like I'm telling you that could feed you the information, right? Another thing is they had the biggest share buyback approved in history of the apple corporation that is amazing they're gonna buy back 110 billion dollars worth of their own shares what is this telling us that they believe that the stock is still undervalued to the point that they got 110 billion dollars cash and they say yeah let's buy our own stock with it because if we bought something else with it it wouldn't go up as much so we love to see it now I don't want you to buy, hold, or sell just off of you having a fear of missing out. I want you to fully understand this because, again, we're waiting for the market to open up in the morning so we can see if our call option that we in has already hit the home run. And, family, if we can hold above this 185 level, 183 level, then we should very likely and statistically hit the home run, meaning double our money. So shout out to that. But, again, we don't 
trade or invest with hope. We trade with the chart and not with our heart. Why? Because proper preparation prevents poor performance. Say it with me again. Proper preparation. Yo, I can't I can't even say it right. Somebody say it for me in the chat. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Now, the other thing that they said was that they are increasing their dividend to about a quarter per share. So the dividend is increasing. So they're going to pay the shareholders more than they were giving them originally. They got a buyback. They beat in the estimates. Family shout out to Apple. What we want to hear from Apple, though, that we still have not heard. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it raw. I'm always going to tell you the truth. Is more about artificial intelligence and how they're going to integrate it into Apple. How are they going to revamp Siri? How are they going to revamp their business? Right. How are they going to revamp the app store in a way that infuses artificial intelligence? This is going to help us to say, yeah, it's time for Apple to really keep killing it and really keep making us all some money here. Now, would I buy Apple stock at this level? What I want you to do is go and look at the P.E. ratio and then compare that to what's called the forward P.E. ratio. If the forward P.E. ratio is still higher, then you say, OK. Now I can start slowly. And again, I can't tell you what to buy, hold, or sell. I'm just trying to really give you the tools so that you could go in and kill it. If the forward P ratio is lower than the current one, then that's telling you that they plan on making more money in the future. And it makes sense that you could start buying this ever so slowly. Right now, I want you to keep your eye on the $180 level. If it breaks under that, then we could have a continued downtrend on Apple because Apple has been stagnant for the whole year. But with that being said, we are pumping up and I love to see it. And I want everybody here to be able to get on these things on the front end and not on the back end. That's why I told you that I I got you. I got you with the buy alerts and everything like that. I'm telling you up and down. Now, what I want you to see is that there are other stocks that we cannot miss our opportunity on either, not just Apple. Now, the first one is Delta. Yes, Delta, the airline, right, like JetBlue and so on and so forth. But this time I'm talking about specifically Delta Airlines. And the ticker symbol for Delta Airlines is DAL. Currently, Delta is $51 at the time of this recording. It is currently up on the year 27%. And it just hit a new 52-week high basically today. So we want to keep our eye on this to see if we could pick it up and then ride the wave for continuation on the way up. And then once it starts to reverse, ride the wave on the way back down because these airlines is mostly trash companies, right? But we know what's going on with things like Boeing, how they've really been having a hard time. So Delta has been actually inheriting all of the passengers. People have been saying, yo, let me get up, let me get up off this, this Boeing planes and go over to Delta because a lot of the Boeing planes are like on United. And to be honest with you, you could get on a Boeing plane at Delta potentially. So just be on the lookout. But you could also not be on a Boeing plane when you over at Delta. So they actually are benefiting from everything that was going on with Boeing, believe it or not. Now, another one that I want you to see is, and family, there's a whole lot of stocks that's really having a different kind of day than they've been having, is actually Colgate, the toothpaste, believe it or not. Ticker symbol CL. This is $92 at the time of this recording. And just this month, it's up 5%. But year to date, it's up 16%. So it's actually doing okay. And I want you to keep your eye on that one. Put that one on your watch list because we're going to pay attention to these and see if the opportunities are going to lead us to making even more money than we even been making. And we don't want to miss out on any opportunities. So, family, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I can't wait to keep on killing it with y'all. I'm telling y'all, there's so much money to be made that it's like blowing my mind just to see it. And I, you know I'm a big Apple shareholder, family. So if you own Apple, let me know in the chat. And before we go, I want to hit you with my notepad. Hold up. No, I want to hit you with a question. Let's see how smart you are. This is how I was. Would you rather have an 850 credit score, $850 million, or 850 acres of land? 